Hello my friends, um, I need some kind of camera stand, uh, some, I'm thinking some portable thing that I can move around the workshop and uh, all I have currently is one of these and I've got a selfie stick which the camera is currently mounted on and it's clamped to the wall with, uh, clamped to my shelves with one of these so I need a slightly better set up than that, something a bit more permanent. Uh, so what I'm thinking is a sort of three-legged stand with wheels on it that I can trundle around as required. Now I've thought about tripods but they're a bit top heavy and a bit fiddly and frankly if I can make it myself it's much more fun and much cooler. So that's the plan. So anyway, I've made a little bit of a start here. You can see I've got this piece of MDF. Um, it's quite thick. How thick is it? I think it's 18, yeah, eight, 18 millimeters. And that's, oh, I don't know what that is, an imperial, maybe half an inch, three, quarter, three quarters of an inch probably. Um, so I'm just figuring out uh, how I can uh, have the three legs going off it three angles, um, so what, 360 degrees divided by three is 120 degrees, so there'll be 120 degrees. So that's what I'm currently in the uh, process of drawing out here on the, uh, on the board. Actually no, I'll go up a bit further, say 40, say there. Okay, let's pull that out. It's just, it's a centre of gravity thing, isn't it? Okay. We now have a plan. Woohoo! Right, so what else I've got from the hoard is some um, Got three of these, so they will go into my holes. One, no, yeah, I can work well. Two, three, yep. Let's just put something over the uh, sacrificial piece of wood. Voila. And that bit is done. That's better. I'm just going to use this good old fella. It's uh, coarse on one end and fine on the other. And it's got it's rounded and flat. So this is going to be my weapon of war. Just going to take the corners off. Start with the course. Yeah. 
a basic shape. Now what I'm thinking is I've got these three protuberances. I'm thinking like the Ace of Clubs, like if I just do a bit of put some little that would be cool. So I th think this will be a job for the old Ryoba. Japanese saw. And maybe just a little something in there. Very cool. So it's just a bunch of little V cuts which I will smooth off. Do I need those? I don't know if I need those. I don't think I'll bother with those Beginning to see the shape come after that. Kind of a organic leafy cool. Like it. shot here. No, let's go here. No, here. Cool. Alright. From there, a bit of polyester glue. It expands. So this will be ideal for um, just holding these in place. These have got, um, you can see they're serrated, so they've got a bit of grip in them along with the polyester glue. It should see in there quite nicely, so let's just get a bit down into those holes. Just do one at a time. There we go. It's out quite quick. Can you see? Oh yeah, you can see. Okay. That will probably be enough. And yeah, reach it around a bit. Scoop, scoop. And just pop it in. Thusly. Good, okay. That's that bit done.
Okay, so it's my lovely ripped piece of wood. That's going to be my post. Stand, and it's going to be the uh, the main. Oh, what would you call this? A column. Oh, that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now this this is a bit gnarly. This comes off a pallet, so we're going to clean that up with the plane a bit and the router. Get that looking a bit nicer. fun flaming this pallet wood because the grain just goes all over the place. Well, see what we can do. Just dial that back quite a bit just to start off subtle. See what we can do. Maybe a little match. It's all furry. Bit of bristly, bristly wood. Wood is so soft. All right. Good. Okay. Get that cleaned up, and we then we'll dig out the router. Now, this is the one I want. It's going to take a little bevel off the air corners of the um, of this. Not too much. Then we're ready to roll. So rock and roll.
Here we go. Let me see that. Beautiful. Put a little bit in the middle. And on the end. It's beautiful. And what I want to do is um, have a something like that, an arm, because the camera will go on the end there. I'm thinking some kind of you know, chop it off and some kind of counterweight thing. I'm not sure if that's got enough heft to it. It's quite light wood, but something along those lines. I don't want this to be sticking out and getting in the way either, so. I'll have a hunt around and see what I can find that will be suitable for that. And then that will go on the wheels. So, we have oh, this cool piece of paraphernalia. I think it needs something a bit more sturdy here than just that little wing nut. So I think we'll make a knob for that. Get to that. And what else have we got? We've got our base now. So what I want to do next is bring these two together. To do that, I want to create one, two, three spars to give it some sp sp stability. 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 Uh, so, I'm going to um, make some spars out of this nice piece of wood, courtesy of an an unsuspecting pellet. It's just sitting on the side of the road minding its own business and I brought it home and pulled it apart. So I've got some stuff good, it's quite light and easy to work with. And it's free. Free is all good. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so 
Chop. Chop. Beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. Very something, very gothic. the block plane. a bit curved so I'm just trying to flatten it out now just trying to take a shaving off the middle there we go oh. yeah I'm happy with that there we go it's uh, close enough to 120 or 60 depending which side of the Protractor you observe. Cool. Done. 
Got it. I'm over this glue. That was an easy one. That's good. Up on its own. No, it needs some other legs. All right, let's try these funny angle legs. Expand, but what you end up with is a bunch of bubbles, and bubbles are not known for their structural integrity, are they? Screw that down into place, and we'll be happy. Square, but I'm not worried about that. It's just a well, he says, he says, Excuse me. That router is my new best friend. How cool is that? It's like Thor's hammer. Ready. There she is. Nearly finished. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Are you ready? <laughs> ready. See ya.
this is the uh, fastening mechanism that I've devised. Pop, pop, nice and tight. That ain't going nowhere. See how that works? It's very, very solid. And then like that on the end. Beautiful. Okay, my friends, there it is. In all its glory. I think it's awesome. Let's get the camera mounted up on there and see how she goes. Okay, there we are. You are sitting on a very cool camera stand now. Whoop, bit of wobble. Okay, so get a better view of what's going on. We'll be able to get into all the nooks and crannies of all the jobs now. Awesome. But uh, yeah, cool fun. All right, so I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, take it easy, please, uh, if you enjoyed that, uh, hit the like button and subscribe and as I get the videos out um, you'll be able to enjoy more more and more and more cool um, okay I'll see you later